Hey dolls and welcome back to my channel. So on this video, it's all about Laura Mercier powders. This translucent powder is the most hyped up makeup product in the makeup world. I myself always have this translucent powder in my kit and I know that some translucent powders that are cheaper are comparable to this powder but I just always go back to my trusty Laura Mercier powder because I just know that there is not a lot of learning curve to this. It's very versatile, so I just always have it in my kit. So on this video, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the translucent powder and then the translucent honey. I'm also going to show you how these two powders look set on my face. I also swatch the Radiant Powder in Celestial Light. And I'm also going to show you a swatch and review of the Laura Mercier Brightening Powder, which is specifically for your under eyes. Now this powders used to only come in one shade, but now there's three shades for the matte, three shades for the Radiant side. So there's a lot of variations now and they are more inclusive. But in my kit, I just always have the two matte powders, the translucent and the honey, and then the radiant powder and celestial light. And I've never really used this on my clients, but again, we're going to swatch and review the brightening powder for the under eyes. So let me show you the difference between this powder. So I'm going to swatch the powders on the back of my hand so you can see. The first powder is the original translucent. For me, it's not that translucent. It has this yellow tint to it, which I like because sometimes if it's pure white, it just doesn't reflect well on camera. It looks kind of ashy. I like that it has a little yellow to it. So it brightens the face. So the second powder that I'm going to swatch is this in honey. Now this reminds me of the banana powder. But to me, this is warmer than the banana powder. So I'm going to swatch in honey. You could immediately see the difference between the two. This is more yellow than the translucent. The next powder that I'm going to swatch is the one with more of the shimmer finish. They're not actually marketing this as a highlighter, but that's the only way that I use it. I use it as a highlighter on the high points of my cheeks and on my clients. Now, the last powder that I'm going to swatch is the brightening powder. This is specifically for the under eye area. It feels very light, like the other matte powders are already very fine milk, but this one, once you even touch it, it just feels so soft and velvety. That's how it looks. Like, I don't know if it's just under the light, but it looks kind of silver to me. So that's the last one. Like, you can't even see it now. So now I have my small sponges. So I'm going to dip the sponge in the original translucent powder and I'm going to put it on my right side. I'm going to bake my under eyes with it. Then using another damp small beauty blender, I'm going to bake my left eye with the translucent honey. And you can immediately see that this is very yellow and this, although it's the original one, you can still see a little yellow on it, a yellow tint to it. So I'm going to set my whole face with the powders again. And with this, I'm going to use the puff. And what I do is I take the powder, I fold the puff in half, and I just rub them together. There's an excess powder, I'm just gonna tap it on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna press it. So on my right again, I'm going to use the 
original translucent. You can see this is the side that is not set and this is the side that is set this immediately looks smoother than my left side and if you look up close my pores are less visible on this side than on this side so I really like that about this powder on my left I'm going to use the translucent in my mind I always want to say banana but it's called honey and then I'm going to rub it and then tap the excess on the back of my hand. So I'm gonna set it like that. Now since my skin tone is on the medium side, you can't really see the difference between the translucent and the translucent honey, especially when I bronze my face up. But if you look closely, this just looks more warm than this one. So this one's brighter, this is warmer. But if you use this on a very fair client, you can't really get away with honey. It would really look super warm on them. So the honey would only work on medium to deeper skin tone. And so if you have fair skin, just stick with the translucent powder because the yellow on the honey would really show up. And when it comes to under eyes, I still prefer the translucent powder because I don't really like how yellow this translucent honey is on my eyes. If you have a deeper skin tone, this will definitely brighten your under eyes because on deeper skin tone, if you actually use the translucent, the original one, like it wouldn't really show off as translucent. You can really see a little, not a white cast, but it just doesn't really blend well with the rest of the face so if you have a deeper skin tone then go with honey as your under eye powder but if you're into a medium to fair skin tone stick with the translucent powder so now let's swatch on the radiant powder and the shade that i got is in celestial light which is a champagne beige color and again as i told you i've never used it as a setting powder i just use it as a highlighter and usually what I do is spray fix plus and then put this on so it really picks up the powder I like that it's very fine milled so it gives you that liquid highlighter look the disadvantage of a liquid highlighter is that when you put it on your face that is already set it can make your makeup move and so it destroys the other parts of your makeup i like this highlighter because it's in a powder form so i don't have a problem on blending it on already powdered face already set face i don't have to worry about blending it on top of any blush so i like this as a highlighter now the last try on will be the under eye brightening powder now this is sadly the least of my favorite although i love that it feels very smooth on it accentuated the lines under my eyes that i didn't even know i have and it looks dry after application my under eye just really looks dry it didn't have any flashback on flash photography and although at a distance my under eye looks smoother it didn't help in covering the blue tones under my eye making me look more tired that's my review on the laura mercier powders i hope that it helps and guides you on what powder you should be using or you should be buying and if it did please don't forget to like this video don't forget to share it with your friends subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated once a new video is out thank you so so much once again for watching i'll see you on my next one